I'm Ta Kirai, lead programmer of Shenmue. About five years ago, I founded an independent development company called Nalo Incorporated. Currently, most of my work is as a director and producer. One important event in 1995, when Shenmue was being developed, was the emergence of the internet with the introduction of Windows 95. There still wasn't much information out there to be had, and Shenmue faced a lot of new challenges as a game. Talking about recent games from the development perspective, a lot of research goes into graphics, but Shenmue took on so many other challenges besides just that. With all the other R&D that was needed, it ended up making more of a 50-50 split. Now, 15 years later, there's one thing that Shenmue gave birth to that is still alive and kicking. That's the idea of an open world. Launching Shenmue in 1999 with the open world design, that was big. Probably the biggest achievement of our careers. Open world games didn't exist then, so there was nothing we could use as a reference. Things like CPU management, graphic chip management, memory, read, write, it all had to be balanced out. And we had to do it on something like a trial and error basis. So for example, I wanted to increase the processing speed. So say Shenmue is running at a speed of 33 milliseconds. And then I got it from 35 milliseconds down to 26 milliseconds. A week later, of course, there were more resources to run, so it was back up at 35 again. I had to keep doing that back and forth over and over again. Then the memory would run out. That was a big part of it, this balancing act. In Chapter 2 of Shenmue 2, there was a scene where handcuffs are used. Such a program where two people are connected together by handcuffs was something new. The program would control the motion of the two things tethered together and thus incorporate the physics of the two people pulling against each other. We also reproduced the weather for Yokosuka for a two-year period. I really had to wonder if that was the actual weather. Some of the forecasts were quite tricky. One day it would be clear, then rain, then snow, then clear again, then cloudy. This is how we replicated it, but I wondered to myself if people actually experienced the weather like that. But people said to me, wow, that's impressive. And I was so glad we were able to make it happen just like that. I really feel that it matters to do Shenmue 3 through crowdfunding. For those who have been truly waiting for this moment for the past 15 years, I think this is the best way to show how much they really want it. The biggest thing here is the QTE that Shenmue made famous. Then there was the original battle system in Shenmue. I would like to integrate those two things and make something completely new. Should the budget allow, of course, but I think it would be great to make an all-new battle QTE. Scrap the old QTE and the old battle system and making something original, something groundbreaking. I want this to be one interesting Shenmue experience. <laughs>